Hey everyone, this is Steve from Metaslider, which is the most user-friendly way to build a slider on your WordPress website. In this video, I'm going to show you how to have a hero design for your slideshow. This screen you can see in front of you is a good example of a hero slideshow. There's one image, which is the hero. It is a little larger, a little more prominent than the other images on the slideshow. You still have the normal rotation effect in a slider, but all the images are not equal all the time. One image is scaled larger than the others. It grabs the user's attention. And this is really easy to do with Metaslider. Let me show you how it works. I have Metaslider set up on my WordPress website. I'll go to Metaslider, and I do need the pro version of the plugin for this. I'll go to Metaslider and Quick Start, and I'm going to choose one of the demo slideshows. I'm going to choose the image slideshow option. And the key for this, once the sample slides have loaded here, the key is to choose the correct theme. In the right sidebar, I'm going to change the default theme to the hero theme. There it is. There's the hero theme. I'll click on the select button and it's ready to go. I can click on save and I'll go to Posts, Add New Post, and I'll call this Hero. And I'll use the Metaslider block to add my slideshow. I'll click on Publish. And let's see what this looks like on the front of the site. There we have the Hero slideshow. Just like a normal slideshow, we have the arrows, we have the navigation buttons, but one of the images is popping up larger than the others. There's some customization you can do to this if you want. You can go to Metaslider and edit your new slideshow. One of the things you might want to do is to change the height and the width of the image. For example, if you set this to 500, so the images are 500 pixels wide, you're going to get a slightly different hero effect. The images are a little more square. You can see each one is almost square. It's 500 pixels wide and 400 pixels high. You can also do things such as play with the arrows. For example, there is an option to make the arrows available only when someone is hovering over it. So if I change that, save it, and go back to the front of the site, the arrows will disappear until I hover over them. Once I do that, I can see the arrows down there. In this example, we've done this with images, but it's also possible to have hero videos as well. Let me show you quickly how that works. I'm going to go back to the admin area of my site. I'll go to Metaslider Pro, Quick Start, and I'm going to get a sample slideshow with local videos which are hosted in the media library of my WordPress site. The videos are just loading. Now I'm going to change the theme to Hero again. I'll click on Save, and I'll go to Posts, Add New Post, and let's call this Hero Video. I'll choose the newly created slideshow, there we have a quick preview of the videos. I'll click on Publish. And there we go. One video is larger than the others. If I move through to the next one, the next video becomes larger than the others. This is the hero effect. And you saw how easy it is to do with Metaslider. You just choose a theme, and then one of your videos, or one of your images, gets pride of place in your slideshow. This is just one of the ways in which we're making sure that Metaslider is the most powerful, but also the most user-friendly way to build a WordPress slideshow. If you haven't tried it yet, head over to wordpress.org and grab your free copy today.